Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris Man, and as always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. Every now and then I do these types of videos uh, where someone sends me a comment and I thought it would be best to kind of expound on it and let everybody else in on it or listen to it because I think it would be helpful because a lot of times you just don't know what you don't know and there's nothing wrong with that, you know. So uh, I just recently did a cover of a Day Brubeck song. But actually, uh, the cover that I did was another uh, band did a cover of it. I think it's called the Atlantic Five Jazz Band. So uh, I did Take Five, and that's probably one of the most pop. That's probably one of the most popular jazz songs ever. And interesting fact: uh, the saxophone player actually wrote that song, not Dave Brubeck. So, uh, so I did the cover, and I got a response from a, from Ron. How you doing, Ron? And Ron's response reads this. It's hard to sit and watch the video, and I try to write the chords down. It's all just changes so fast. Any possibility of getting the chords in printed form? Now, I'm going to kind of analyze and break this down. If you get it in printed form, it's the same chords that are in the video. I mean, what you have to do, because we don't know as far as sometimes the technique to learn in songs. So uh, this is how I do it, you know. Uh, I dissect songs. I mean, what I do, I sit down and I listen to them. I'm like, okay, what is the verse doing in the chords? What is the chorus doing in the chords? Is there a B section before the chorus, which is called pre-chorus? Is there uh, a change? Uh, is there a modulation, meaning changing of keys? And I write all that stuff down. I, 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 pick, I take songs and, break and, and chop them up. Let's work on the main part, which is the verse. You know, what chords are in there? Let's play that. Okay, chords in the verse, it's different from the chords in, in, in the verse. So I do that. So that's how you learn because uh, as a professional musician, let's just take this song for example, Dave Brubeck, real easy song. I mean, jazz songs are very difficult. This is one of the easiest jazz songs to play. If you're struggling with that, it lets you know what level you are in playing. And that's not a negative statement because we all got to start at the beginning. Nobody comes up to this and get in the middle and in the meeting and become an advanced player. We all got to start at the beginning. So, uh, you know, when you're struggling with simple songs, and these are simple songs because I rarely ever do anything complicated. It might sound complicated and look complicated, but it's not. The only few songs I can think of that are complicated was all the Steely Dan songs I did because sometimes they had like 15 chords in the songs like, whoa. And then it got these weird changes in time and in structure. And, and some Earth, Wind & Fire stuff and a little Stevie Wonder, Nita Baker. But everybody else, basically pretty simple songs because it's just two parts to this song. When you look at it, uh, and I'm going to put, put up on the monitor, and I'm going to just give you a quick example of that. Uh, the main part is just they're rocking from D minor 7 to A minor 7. So it's... all they do and then the change which is the, uh, the second half of the song because there are only two parts and it's B F minus F major 7 back to F minus 7 then back to, to the same cycle B F sharp minus 7 G sharp minor and then the turnaround chord, which is A sharp seven. So it goes like this. That's the whole song. So it's not difficult at all. And if you're struggling with it, and if it's difficult to you, it just means that, uh, you know, you're at the beginner stage and again there's nothing wrong with that and you have to just go back to the basics learn the chords write them down if you have to because uh there's some songs i don't have to write down it's just like three chords rocking back and forth there's some songs that i have to write down because i can't remember the sequence but you know if i'm looking at it i can play it without any flaws but you know that's the suggestion that i have for you beginners uh we think we're at another stage of playing, like intermediate or perhaps a little past intermediate, when we're still beginner. It took me over 10 years to become a good guitar player. I mean, a good guitar player. 
And then it took me several more years to become a better guitar player. You know, so uh, don't rush the process, but don't skip the process because we got too many people out there now that's just trying to wing it back in and trying to learn by watching other guys' fingers. You are not going to become a good guitar player trying to follow that path. How you become a guitar, good guitar player is find, first of all, someone that can play the guitar the right way, study with them, practice, 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 and more practice. You can't get around that because you need to know what you're playing. You know, you need to know what's under your fingers as you're playing as opposed to, uh, I got a diagram that somebody showed, told me to put my fingers here and this is just why I'm putting it there because they told me. You need to know why your fingers are there. Uh, you know, over a period of time, you develop feel and timing because uh, me and my keyboard player, we can finish our own sentences. I mean, or should I say, we can finish each other's sentences musically because we are on that same page. You know, as far as uh, style, as far as timing, as far as chord changes, because after a while you can start to feel the chord changes because most songs are kind of structured universally or universal, uh, with the exception of uh, Al Green. Al Green got his own style of writing because Al Green is all over the place. You know, when you're playing the, the verses and you're, like, you're saying, okay, here come, the, here come the chords. No, there's another part. It's like, where did this come from? You know, so uh, with the exception of him and probably a few other people, uh, usually it's just the structure of intro, first verse, pre-chorus, or if there's no pre-chorus, straight to the chorus, then back to second verse, chorus or pre-chorus, and then uh, after that verse, there's the bridge, then there might be some instrumental breather part, then it goes back to the chorus on out. In most cases, but you know, uh, I did this video just to stress to you beginners that, uh, you know, learn the basics. You know, in my DVD set that I have one through six, which uh, I'm giving five and six away free for the, the next couple of weeks, so the total was $32 shipping and handling, uh, including shipping and handling. I walk you through these things that most people don't tell you about because there are a lot of things that I've learned on my own and a lot of things that someone told me which made sense and I applied it. You know, and, and in my videos, which are over, well, Collectively, one through six is over like six hours of me walking you through stuff that you need to know. And I don't give you anything that you don't need to know because that's the other big problem. Most music teachers, and they're not trying to do it deliberately, they teach you stuff that you would never apply, never use. And then the stuff that you really need to know, they don't give you enough of that. So I'm like proof that, you know, trial and error. And, you know, through my subscribers, they say, hey, could you put something together for us to, to teach us to play the right way? Because you, you seem to be a pretty good guitar player. So I thought about it. Took a couple of months. Started putting together something. It was something that made sense and make it easier for you to learn how to play the guitar without taking any shortcuts. So, you know, uh, I'm just going to basically sign off now. Just, you know, I just, again, thought I would do a video like this because it's important to teach the young guys, you know, the right way and the way that's easier without taking shortcuts to becoming a better rhythm guitar player. So on that note, I'm signing off until next time. Take care. Thanks for watching.